video we'll discuss about command bar in model driven app and also we'll discuss how to insert a button in the command bar and uh, we can uh, we can work with the different uh, places in the model driven application like uh, main grid or you want to work with the main farm and uh, you know associated view and uh, you want to work with the sub grid also you can able to work uh, this uh, inside model driven application and we can able to write a power fx formulas on the button uh, inside model driven application so for that i'm opening this solution and this solution contains an app here so now i'm now i'm trying to edit this one so to edit this so when we directly click this one or when you select and when you click edit it will redirect to the edit edit page of this app so here in the in the eclipses of this app when you when you click here you can able to see option called edit command bar when you click this one we have two options either you can edit here or you can able to edit in this in a new tab now i'm clicking this in new tab it will open this command bar um, command bar options here so we can able to uh, select the different uh, command bars one is a main grid command bar another one is main form and sub grid view and associated view so now we'll try to add that in the main grid so for that uh, i'm selecting this one and click edit and if you click edit it will open another window here in this window the existing buttons which are there in the main grid you can able to see here now i'm trying to add another uh, one here uh, which is uh, a simple notification uh, command i will add here so to add that we have new option here so when you go to the command and this will come like this you can able to see the buttons how it is looking like so if you take the drop down and you can uh, you will get this type of options you'll have multiple uh, multiple buttons in the navigation as a drop down and if you want to have a uh, split button you will have the split buttons like this now i'm adding this command so when i click this one it will add a new command like this you can able to see the command here i'm giving a message as a simple notify and uh, here the icon currently we don't have any icon so you can choose no icon or if you want to use any icon which is already you know defined inside this model driven application you can use this one or if you want to upload anything and uh, that one you want to use you can use use web resource option so you need to upload your uh, image and then that will appear here so as of now now i'll use uh, the out of the box one one is a linkedin logo and we have couple and whatever you like and you can choose from this drop down so if you like if you like anything and you can use like that and the, the icon will appear here so next we have an option called run formula and here you can use a power fx if you use run formula and it, which is a new one uh, available and if you use run formula you can able to see on select option and uh, if you if you change this one for example if i change to run javascript i won't see that option here so we can use the libraries or you can write a code and you can upload into the components and then you can utilize so this one we'll discuss in the upcoming videos now i'll use a power fx formula here and um, i'll use a bit later now here the visibility so if you want to show or if you want to show on the condition from the formula if i select this one i can able to see two options now one is visible another one is on select because i have selected this run formula so i can see on select i have selected this from the condition uh, for example based on some condition you want to show or hide you can able to use the power fx formula here to show or hide and uh, now inside this one uh, i'm opening a formula bar now uh, i'll return a formula here very simple notification i'll write so this notify uh, basically uh, we uses uh, this in the canvas application uh, you can use this one open parentheses now we can pass a text and this or this button is clicked and um, if you try to pass a second parameter the second parameter we will have uh, different types if it is an error you can use an error if it is an information you can use an information if it is a success you can use a success based on it the color will change and i'm closing this one so this is very simple notification i'm trying to do that and here we have a tooltip and if you want to uh, uh, write uh, anything you can write 
I'm just writing demo command and if you want to pass any description you can able to pass if you want to pass any accessibility text you can and this is order number order number will discuss in the upcoming videos the simple thing what we do what we did is we just added a command here and then the label is this and icon we have used this icon and uh, we are using a power fx formula and uh, visibility we made it as a true from the formula bar and if you have anything you can write a condition and you can show height based on it and these are the very common settings and uh, now we are done i'm saving and publishing this one so once we save and publish this one this will be available in the main grid so for that we'll play this application from here or you can able to play this once it is published from the solution now we are still publishing a part of the app if you click play now you can able to see if it is added there no nothing is added here new version of the app is available now we'll refresh and we'll see is that ads yes now it is added we can able to see this button in the menu bar on the main grid this is a main grid and if i click notify and I can able to see this message this button is clicked so this way we can able to write up our FX formulas to perform the operations now in the upcoming video we'll use same type of button to save the data or if you want to update the data you can able to update the data even though we can able to use maximum power FX formulas here to you know store the data back either we can use the patch uh, to store or you, if you want to update the partial data you can able to update with the patch and also we can use couple of other formulas which are supported in the power fx that we'll discuss in the upcoming videos